Hey everyone, welcome to the We Study Billionaires YouTube channel. I am your host, Clay Fink, and I'm very excited to bring you today's video. I recently picked up this incredible book called The Joys of Compounding by Gautam Bade. I had a friend in the value investing community tell me this is a must read, so I picked it up and I was honestly just blown away by it. I actually just released a podcast episode discussing this book. It's episode 534 in the We Study Billionaires podcast, which I highly recommend you go and check out. We will have it linked in the description below for those who are interested. So in today's video, I wanted to share one of the key concepts I learned from this book, which is that the best investment you can make is in yourself. For those of you who don't know the author, Gautam Bade, he is the managing partner and fund manager of Stellar Wealth Partners India Fund, which is an investment partnership based out of the U.S. So with that, let's dive right into today's video discussing why the best investment you can make is in yourself. So the best investment that you can make is in yourself is actually the title of chapter one of Gautam's book. He opens it up with a quote from Charlie Munger. Munger states, I constantly see people rise in life who are not the smartest, sometimes not even the most diligent, but they are learning machines. They go to bed every night a little wiser than when they got up. And boy, does that help particularly when you have a long road ahead of you. Another Munger quote is that those who keep learning will keep rising in life. Charlie Munger believes that lifelong learning is paramount to long-term success. Most of the people I know that did really well in their careers or did really well in their lives, they committed to continuing to learn after they finished school. They didn't just, you know, go to school, go to high school, college, and then just stop learning after that. Many people, once they finish school, you know, just stop learning. But graduation should just be the beginning of our learning journey. If you go through life only knowing what you were taught in school and taught growing up, it's pretty likely you won't get near as far in life than those who invest in themselves and adopt this philosophy of lifelong learning. Warren Buffett, who is worth over $100 billion today, he spends the majority of his days just sitting in his office and reading and learning and thinking. When Buffett was asked about the keys to his success, he held up a stack of papers and said, Read 500 pages like this every day because this is how knowledge works. It builds up and it compounds. With access to the internet and all of the different books available to be delivered just within a few days, the opportunity to acquire knowledge and acquire wisdom from others is really as attainable as it's ever been before. Gautam writes, self-improvement is the ultimate form of investing in oneself. It requires devoting time, money, attention, and hard effort now for a payoff later, sometimes in the far distant future. A lot of people are unwilling to make this trade-off because they crave instant gratification and instant results. Jim Rohn once stated that formal education will make you a living, self-education will make you a fortune. If you look at some of the world's most successful people from a financial standpoint, you'll find that they're just voracious learners. They are learning and reading machines. Warren Buffett is obviously one example. If you study others like Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, or other great investors like Ray Dalio and Howard Marks, they all realize the importance of investing in oneself and embracing lifelong learning. That's not to say that we should try to become a multi-billionaire. It's just to help illustrate that the most talented and the most successful people in any given field are going to be self-educated. Embracing self-improvement and self-education allows you to draw on the experience of others. The best way to learn anything is to try and do it, but the next best way to learn anything is to learn from people who have already done it. That's why reading and learning are just so important. One of the best ways to draw off the experience of others is to just read. This could be early in the morning or at night before bed, or maybe you're ready to start taking action and start implementing what you've learned and you can go out and start a business of your own. If you enjoy this podcast, you are going to love our free investing newsletter called We Study Markets. We've realized that not everyone has time to listen to a podcast every day or even every week. So we took this same type of content and put it into an easy to read newsletter. In just five minutes a day, you can stay up to date with what's going on in the financial world and what's happening with your money. And it's completely free. 
Join over 30,000 other readers now by simply clicking the link here on the pop-up on your screen and then entering your email. It's that simple. Just click the link here in the pop-up on your screen, enter your email, and start knowing what's happening with your money. When Munger was working as a lawyer in his early career, he was making around $20 an hour. He realized that his most valuable client was really himself. So he made sure to give himself at least one hour a day of working on construction projects and working on these real estate deals in his pursuit of achieving financial independence and financial freedom. Every day, you should spend a certain amount of time investing in yourself because if you stay consistent with it, it'll pay the largest dividends over the long run. If you want to become a better investor, that might mean reading the books that I talk about on the podcast, or if you want to start your own business, that might mean gradually making those steps day by day towards achieving that goal. I can almost guarantee that about everyone has 30 minutes to an hour every day they could commit to investing in themselves. If you don't believe me, grab your phone and check your screen time for apps like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, or other time-sucking apps, you might be surprised to see how much you're allocating towards those low ROI activities rather than making that great investment, which is in yourself. Gotham states that investing in yourself is like buying a dollar for less than one cent. And it's why good books are just so undervalued and underappreciated by people. In a world that thinks very short-term, you'll find that investing in yourself is the ultimate long-term investment. If you commit to reading just 20 pages per day, and even if you assume that two days of the week are too busy to read, that still accumulates to over 5,000 pages per year. Most people don't even take the time to read any books at all, and just a simple habit of 20 pages per day would likely have you reading at least 15 books in a year. Nowadays, most of what people consume in terms of information is just effortless, and they consume what's on social media or on the news, and most of this consumption is just noise, and it really doesn't help us out that much. The world is just full of information, and we need to realize that it's our attention and our time that's scarce. Information is not scarce, it's our attention and time that's scarce. And we need to be mindful of where we put our attention and where we put our time. So don't let Twitter, Facebook, the news, and whatever else grab your attention whenever you have those free moments and opportunities to learn. Because Gotham has embraced lifelong learning and understood its power and importance, this led him to making some very, very good and very profitable investments and eventually led him to achieving financial freedom for himself. Gotham recognizes what Benjamin Franklin said rings true, that an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. What's even better is that if you adopt this lifestyle with friends or with people in your social circle, you can share and spread these ideas and you can share books with each other and it just makes the process so much more enjoyable as you rise up together. If you have any friends that come to mind, send them this video and invite them to read a book with you. The best way to narrow the gap between where you are today and where you want to be in the future is to start learning and then start taking action on what you learn. If adopting lifelong learning and investing in yourself resonates with you, I encourage you to go check out my podcast episode that expands on this idea on the We Study Billionaires podcast. That is episode 534, which will be linked in the description below. Again, episode 534 on the We Study Billionaires podcast, I expand on this idea of lifelong learning, and I also dive into other topics such as how understanding first principles can help us better understand the world around us, how mental models can help us make more rational and effective decisions, and how it's essential that we choose the right role models in life. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it and found some value. Before you go, if you could hit the like and subscribe button below, I would really appreciate that. Also, leave me a comment. Let me know how I did with today's video, how I'm doing overall, and what content you would like to see in the future. Thank you again for tuning in, and I hope to see you again next time. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode of We Study Billionaires. If you enjoyed this episode, we would really appreciate it if you subscribe to our podcast feed using the link here on the screen. This will really help support the show so we can continue to provide this great content to you for free. We appreciate you being a listener and hope to see you again next time. Warren Buffett today is worth over $100 billion and he spends his typical day sitting reading, and thinking for the whole day. He says that he spends up to 80% of his day reading. Like our money compounds, 
the knowledge acquired from reading also compounds and adds up over time. 